everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on Well Groomed and we're on page seven, page seven. So page seven has two flaps and the flaps are five by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the five inch side. So you're gonna need two of those. And then we have what I'm calling a belly band pocket. And um, the reason it is a belly band pocket is because I'm going to run a bead of group glue down the center here and install it so it's not a, a true pass through. And these will become two pockets on the left and right side. These flaps are gonna hold all of our goodies inside our pockets, okay? So we're gonna start by laying down the belly band slash pocket. And I'm gonna adhere it to one side and then I'm gonna open it up, run my bead of glue, take the tape off and lay it down. So that is the plan. And it's actually easier for me to do it this way. So I wanna point out that I put a tick mark on my center line here, and I did the same thing on the pocket page. So all I have to look, do is line up these dots, and then I know it's installed center, okay? And I did that off camera and I used my Tim Holtz ruler, which makes that very easy to do. Let me verify that my tip marks are in the same spot. Yep, they are, it looks good. Okay, so, oh yeah, I wanna do it this way. So if you're uncomfortable doing this, you might wanna just fold back an edge of this line your dots up and then pull the tape out, but I'm, I'm comfortable enough that I'm just gonna line it up on this side first that has the tape backing. And then I'm gonna come across, make sure it's still lining up. And I shift it a little. And it is, so I'm gonna go ahead and press it in. There we go. Good enough. It's actually a little high, so I'm gonna to try to scoot under there and shift it down a little. It's lined up, but it's a little high off the edge. Let's see how it looks on this side. Let's see if I can get under here without making too big of a mess. So this is a palette that I used to use when I oil painted. Um, I'm, I really favor it because it's much narrower than um, these kinds of tools that spatulas for lifting things off adhesives. Um, and I like that it's nice and thin. So let's see if I can get under here. And it go, it really helps me lift. Okay, now I'm gonna sh see if I can shift that down just a little bit. And I did. Okay, I'm happy with that. All right, so that's all pressed into place. So I did a reference line that's right through the center and I'm gonna put a, put a bead of glue there. But first I'm going to take off the tape backing and then I want to show you that before we put the glue all the way down, we wanna stop about a half inch up so that we're not actually not gluing it to the hinge itself. So start about a half inch up and then, you know, just run a bead of glue from here to here. And you wanna make sure it's it's relatively relatively thin because it will flatten out as we close the flap. I'm just tracing the line that I had made earlier. And now all we're gonna do is fold it over and press it into place. Now I wanna press against the center because I want that glue to grab and then that's what's gonna prevent this from being a pass through cap on my glue. It's kind of warm today, so I want to make sure that uh, I keep my cap on. All right, I think that's going to be good. And then I've got these inserts that are going to go left and right, and I don't have the measurements for those just yet. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you the size of this. This is six by nine. Six by nine. You're going to lay it into your scoreboard nine inches across, score it half inch, and eight and a half. And then these pockets are just gonna get installed flush with the edge of the eight by 10 pocket page. And that's what's gonna keep everything inside our pockets. Oh, you know what? 
I had it marked as page eight. It doesn't really matter because page eight's not done, but this will be page seven now. <laughs> and then this will become page eight. It's only a problem if I would have done, it's only a problem if your design has a left and right side. This is symmetrical, so it doesn't matter. Now we're going to do the other side. And there we go. Okay, so you can see there's a one inch gap between the two and that's by design. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to locate our magnets that are going to keep this closed. So I'm going to draw a reference line right here and a reference line right here. And I know my magnet needs to be uh, on the outside of those two lines. If it's not on the outside, then I won't be able to put the uh, joining magnet on the other side. Okay. I'm going to use my fat tape to go over the magnet to soften the edges. It's 5 8 inch wide and it works out being just the right size. To cover the whole magnet. plenty far enough away from the edge that I can get my designer paper down around it without any risk of the paper rising or um, the magnet being exposed. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I went for a walk today with Nala and somebody said that to me and I had forgotten. <laughs> I don't watch TV much, so I lose track of my days. Okay, that's done. All right, so let's talk about the patterns I've chosen. So I chose this pattern, um, which is from the 12 by 12 collection pack. There's, a, of course, it's in the eight by eight also, but I'm using the 12 by 12 here, so it's a larger scale. And they are going, it's a continuous pattern, so I was just making sure I had the left and right correct. And they're just gonna go right on these flaps. And I need to ink it, sorry. It's dry. It's drying really fast. Okay. And I'm just using this white sheet to help me keep my borders even. I am using Powder Puff in Mahogany, if you guys are interested. There'll be a link in the description. And as always, um, in the description, the first thing you're gonna see is links to the products used. And, um, and then if you scroll beyond that, you'll see the cut list. I also run a banner during the tutorial of the cuts uh, for the particular video that is showing at any given time. And then I organize my videos one page at a time into a playlist. Um, so page one will cover the start and finish of page one, page two, etc. So if you're looking for anything in particular, I find it to be the easiest way to do it. Um, and then for you guys, it's not like you have to find the midpoint of a video to get to the second page. All right. There we go. 
So that is the flaps. Let's take that out. So the next thing I need to do is decide what pattern I want here. And originally I was looking at this and I haven't, I haven't fully decided. Um, it works, but I'm not sure. Um, it happens to be the flip side of this pattern, although I'm using the smaller scale. So it's this side. So I'm thinking about using that, but I'm going to set it aside and figure out what these other um, pieces are, are going to look like before I make up my mind on this. But because there's all the colors, you've got red, blue, yellow, um, black, everything's in here. We have a little bit of flexibility. So I think I first need to come up with what I'm going to do on the flaps and then finalize the center section. So I'm going to stop here and I'll be back soon. Everyone, it's Stephanie from Scarf and Create. So I was constructing the book, putting everything in, and I thought I was finished. And as I started walking through to look at things, I realized I had skipped um, several elements for page two and page seven. So the B-sides got skipped. So we are gonna do that right now. Um, I've cut out my papers and I didn't have a lot of choice because I'm down to, you know, smaller pieces. So I do want to use this um, red stripe because that's what I want to show between the two um, flaps. So that's going to be what, what's revealed in that um, in the gap. So I'll get this down. Where's my pick tool? I've done this once before, but I haven't done it in a long time. It happens. It happens. Now it's hard to see right now, but these are pockets. Let's slip this in the pockets so we can see the edge. So as we go to put this down, we get a nice even border. I like this image better, but this is what looks better between the gaps. So I'm going to go with this. This is what's going to go on the flap. I'm just doing a quick dry fit. Make sure I don't need to trim anymore. I think we're good. But I do need to ink it. it and then normally I would have done this all outside of the book but like I said I had actually I thought I was finished <laughs> it's easier um, on a flat surface Perfect. Make sure that's all in place. Now we're going to sneak these two little blue strips right inside the pocket. I'm going to pause for a second, see if I find something I like better. Okay, I like this red better, so I'm going to trim this in half and we're going to line the pockets. I have uh, trimmed it out and inked it, so I'm going to sit down and we'll put these last bits in place. Mm 
And then I'm just going to put this as a reminder to add an ephemera card there. That's it for page seven. Sorry about that. That was a little bit confusing. That's it for page seven. Did I say that right? Yeah, page seven. 